Hi guys, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and this is, uh, yes, another celebrity tarot. We're going to be talking about Hailey Bieber. Uh, you guys wanted me to do a reading on her. Let's see what her energies are looking like. I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has very well. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind the rules to read the in between energies. As I always say, please know that this is all for entertainment purposes only. And everything that I mentioned here is all allegedly. So throughout the whole reading. So with this said, let's move forward. Let's see what the universe has. Okay. So. So we got here Scorpio energies, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, very focused in Pisces and Scorpio. So in the Ace of Cups and Reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I do feel that deep down she knows that she is not where she's she supposed to be. She is an intuitive person, but she has been ignoring it. Allegedly, she has been ignoring it because she wanted someone or to be something that she's not. Allegedly, she is not feeling herself lately. She's feeling quite down and she's feeling quite embarrassed. I feel like she is allegedly very unhappy in her marriage, even though she doesn't show it or she don't want to admit it. She's very unhappy in her marriage because she does hold a lot of emotions and she's a person who does like emotional contact and emotional, you know, like if everybody who has a relationship, you want to be important to the person you're with. And she feels like he is not. Allegedly, she feels like Justin is just you know somebody who is caring for her or takes care of her whenever he wants sex allegedly and she doesn't feel like that she feels like she wants somebody who is supportive over her emotionally as well with the moon in the reverse right here little by little things are coming to light and she's feeling embarrassed and she's feeling nervous allegedly she has been bullying bullied for a long time now and she feels like she doesn't deserve it and again this is just how she feels allegedly okay so it's not like me saying it just as an opinion i'm just telling you what the card says now she is getting her little dirty laundry out there uh, a lot of things are still coming up more things are gonna come up allegedly she feels like she can't hide anymore and that anything she does or anything she says is actually taken out of context she feels extremely nervous and stressed when she's in the public eye sometimes because again everything is being watched and you know it could be considered any way she perform with a tower in the reverse right here her life is like falling apart uh, allegedly what's coming for her is gonna be very intensely I do feel like allegedly her marriage is going to be facing more difficulties than ever. Allegedly there is a scandal or upcoming scandal of a, of a divorce in between her and Justin. Allegedly he's going to make a claim that he don't love her or that he married her and that's why he and that he's with her because he's fulfilling something allegedly. Now I do feel right here, allegedly, that with the Four of Cups in the reverse right here, she is allegedly, I wouldn't say that she's cheating, honestly, but I'm saying like she's actually, somebody's getting her attention, cutting her attention because she feels often, she feels very lonely, she feels alone, she feels disregarded, and somebody is giving her an attention, somebody that we don't know, somebody that may not be even a big celebrity. Yes, they may have money most likely, but either or it's a very, um, a very indie celebrity or somebody who is just rich. Allegedly with the four of ones right here, Leo Sagittarius Aries, she does regret the marriage. She does regret it, allegedly. She regrets how things were done. She thought like, you know, marrying him or getting married was going to help him figure it out that he loves her or, you know, like she could like make him love her the way she wanted him to because he has love for her or holds love for her but not the way she wants to. Now it feels like she is very regretful over it because she's not super happy anymore. She was at one point happy but now she's not happy anymore. With the death card right here she feels like she's losing herself with Scorpio energy. She feels like she's losing herself in that she feels like her her like, pretty much she's been opened up and she's like losing herself and she feels like she's dying inside allegedly in this marriage. With the Ace of Wands right here, Leo Sagittarius Aries, also her creativity, her passion, her personality has uh, lowered a little bit. She feels like her light has been, you know, dimmed a little because she don't feel happy. When you're not happy, you can't be yourself, you can't enjoy it. And keep in mind that I'm not a Hailey Bieber fan, okay? I'm not a Hailey Bieber fan, period. 
but I do not wish this on anybody. I feel a little bit bad. Of course, she made decisions and she knew what she was getting to, but I get, I also feel like she was naive. Allegedly, with all of this, feels like she was naive and she was just out of touch of reality. And now this is, of course, the consequences of her actions. But I do feel bad for her because I don't feel, I don't wish this kind of feeling upon anybody, not even on my biggest enemy, because feeling like you're not loved, that you're not enough, that you work so hard and nobody cares for you, this is just horrendous. And I feel kind of bad for her. Now, she knew what she was doing. That's the consequence of her actions. That's what people say, be careful what you wish for. But at the end of the day, I do feel bad for her a little bit. I feel that allegedly she was a nine of ones. And the fool, she tries very hard to to do a, be a good wife, to get Justin's attention, allegedly, to gain his love and respect. And it just doesn't work. Allegedly, it doesn't work. With the Ace of Swords right here, allegedly, she knows that she needs to make a decision. Um, with the Nine of Swords, I feel like she's uh, often quite stressed and anxious around him and i feel like she knows she needs to make a decision i feel like she is about to do something different uh there's an allegedly upcoming separation and it seems like she's the one actually initiating it in a way to perform but i feel like she she knows that she needs to make a decision because allegedly she can't live like this anymore she's not happy anymore can we get two three cards justice right here she wants balance she wants justice to be served with libra energy i do feel like she she wants to be happy she wants to be happy she wants to live a peaceful life overall she wants to be happy and she wants to live a peaceful life as well that she allegedly doesn't feel she is she often feels trapped she feels like she's not happy uh she don't have like allegedly like the desire to work to do different things allegedly before justin and before the marriage she had all these ideas and all these desires and now she doesn't because allegedly she feels depressed but the five of the uh, five of this right here in the reverse right here she feels a lot alone she feels like this vows that she made means nothing because it feels that she feels like he is not fulfilling those so allegedly in this marriage they're both unhappy with the nine of cups right here she does have a lot of emotions that she don't feel it's been fulfilled and with the seven of swords in the reverse right here um she knows allegedly that Justin is cheating or could be cheating and she's not dumb. She's not like naive. She knows that that could be it. And that's why somebody else allegedly is getting her attention. That's why she may feel drawn to him because she knows that Justin allegedly is doing it too. Or that's what she claims or thinks. Patience and temperance. I do feel like everything is happening under divine timing. Everything will happen at the right time. Everything is happening for a reason. And I feel like something bigger is about to happen with the King of Swords in between this. Because she is trying to give Justin some time. But I do feel like allegedly she is going to check out, checked out from that relationship before anything changes. Honestly, uh, her, Hermit and Virgo uh, energy here and the Sun Leo energy. I do feel like she may try to do some uh, spiritual search and she's going to realize that her, her happiness allegedly is not just in with the Emperor energy, Aries energy. And she will have to make decisions based on looking for her own happiness with the Three of Cups right here. Allegedly, she's going to be actually spotted out with some friends without Justin being there. And that's when allegedly she's going to see that person that she actually really likes. Uh, with the Ten of Wands in the reverse right here, allegedly there's a possible cheating scandal here or claims because there's going to be some photos from paparazzis. And it's like a fly on the wall kind of energy. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Tool of Disc right here, uh, Taurus Vigo Capricorn, she is allegedly going to... Um, I don't know why I ask Selena for some sort of favor. Allegedly, she's going to try to communicate with Selena and try to ask for sort of some sort of favor. It's like, or making things right with her, allegedly. But it's a possible com uh, communication with Selena. With the five of ones right here, I do feel allegedly that she could actually apologize to Selena for how she acted and how she interfered in the relationship. And again, in this life, whatever you do, you need to do it correctly because karma will always get back to you and you're going to get exactly what you have given to others. And I feel like this is the concept consequences of their own actions and with the five for once right here there's going to be a lot of attacks and a lot of things coming back and forth and she's going to actually get tired of fighting everybody and everything and she's going to finally apologize to selena from the bottom of her heart because i do feel like she's trying to make it right in the future whenever this happens with a death card right here she will be embracing change and allegedly i feel like she may actually choose her and maybe walk away from justin it's a big possibility again this is an energetic situation. Maybe she will go for it. Maybe she won't because at the end of the day, energetically, if she does continue with this because everything I read has free will and the butterfly effect, 
So if she does go with this, she will definitely end up like this. If she actually changes her mind, well, that's that. But I do feel like people don't see a lot of her tears, a lot of her unhappiness. She's very happy, unhappy, I'm sorry. And she don't want the world to know, but I feel like they know, the world knows. And overall, what is the final thing for Haley? Where is the final message for Haley? At the end of the day, she will never be the the person or the woman she was if she don't save herself. She needs to move on from what's not making her happy because she's clearly very unhappy. She's clearly very unhappy. And she the only way that she needs to do so is to walk away from somebody that's not for her. Allegedly, her and Justin are not meant to be together forever. And I feel like she is little by little will be noticing that. Finally here, she needs to put herself first and she needs to figure out exactly how she feels and what she wants and she cannot ignore it anymore. So I do feel like allegedly she's going to choose herself and most likely walk away from Justin. So this is the end of the reading, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to follow me on IG and on TikTok, please check the description box below and where you're going to find my links. I always follow back everybody who follows me on Instagram. Also, I have a link as well because I have a Spotify now. I have a podcast and I'm trying to grow over there. I'm trying to get to 200 followers. So if you don't mind, follow me on Spotify where I do offer different things and do small readings as well as I do different topics on spirituality and whatnot. So if you want to check out my Spotify, please check out the description box below and you're going to find the link for that. I also want to remind you that I have an upcoming project just yet on my Patreon and where I'm going to be offering uh, classes for those who want to learn how to read tarot cards as well as for those who do know how to read the tarot cards and would like to make tarot reading our business as a successful one. I also will be offering some courses as well. Finally, I want to remind you that I do not actually message first and I never offer free readings outside the giveaways. And with this said, guys, as well, if you want to get a personal reading with me, please check out the description box below and you're going to find the link for that too. So with this said, thank you so much for the love and support and have an amazing day.